okay. Well, I'm here. <laughs> Been sick. Um, I had gone to the doctor, and we'll see how I'm doing in a couple of days, but I'm feeling a lot better than I was before. My head was just this big, and my stomach hurt so bad. But, um, I'm still having trouble walking, but I'm hoping to tomorrow I'll get out and do a little bit of walking. Let's see, today, I managed a thousand steps today. That's how bad it is. So, uh, that's going on, and since I've been doing most of my day sitting, I've been watching a lot of videos, and, um, the videos, uh, I found one about bullying. Actually, it was uh, this program where kids learn martial arts, self-defense type of thing. And the, it, but it had to do with bullying. The whole structure was bullying and teaching children that bullies will never fight somebody who will defend themselves. Bullies will never attack somebody who's willing to stand their ground and not take it. They and that's even for adults. I can swear to that. I've had problems with that. And um, you stand your ground. That's the first step. And then, of course, learning to defend yourself. And this class was really good about teaching the kids not to become a bully in the process of defending yourself, which uh, sometimes it gets kind of sketchy at times. But... I thought it was a really good video and so I posted it to my Facebook on mom's opinion so check it out and uh, check out my I, I haven't done very much there but I'm getting a little bit of stuff going on there I thought I'd get it a lot more more to it um, I'm also reading a book having to do with um, Kids and Drugs, you know, granted it was a 1970s type book, but it's still relevant today. You got kids, you know, like smoking is like one of the cigarettes are like, is like one of the highest drug addictions, believe it or not. Cigarettes are considered a drug addiction. Alcohol, drug addiction. Um, and knowing the difference and how to deal with it, a lot of it was saying that um, the biggest things that the parents can do is be interactive with your kids. Uh, if your family is teetotalers, chances are your kids are going to be teetotalers. Uh, you can't be a family who does the smoking and the drinking and the drugs and then expect your kids to stay clean. It's not going to happen. Uh, but you know, if they, they even made some suggestions where you got a family with these kind of problems that they learn, work together in separating themselves from the problem and get rid of all the bad habits. And, uh, I, you know, I was raised in a family where we didn't have that kind of problems. But, you know, like all kids, you know, you try something once or twice in your life or somewhere along the line. Um, for a short period of time, I was a smoker, I had drinks, here and there. I never really got the hang of the alcohol taste. It's, bleh. it's not so much the buzz, it's I just, to drink alcohol made me sick to my stomach. There were some that I did like, and I would drink a lot of it. <laughs> Next thing I know, I'm like, okay, I'm a little bit too happy. Um, but most of that... You know, it's, it's just like anything, the bullying and the bad habits and stuff. You know, to interact with your children, to be part of their lives and, and do what you can to keep them so occupied that they're not going to get into trouble. They don't have time for trouble. Um, family trips and, and activities, being in theater, choir, whatever. You know, art projects. It's it's makes a big difference when you are active with your kids and being part of their lives. It makes a, such a big difference. But 
so that's what's been going on with my life. Um, just trying to get better. Been taking some stuff for the immune, immune, immune system. Whatever it's called to get me to not be sick. <laughs> my immunity. It's like, bleh. And my talking doesn't work too good either. I have issues. Anyway, y'all have a good night. and I'm going to have some airborne. Night.